To start the video, I'm going to show you what ultimately we are trying to make. This is a cardboard construction of a Tudor rose created in individual layers. Hi guys, I hear you are trying to make a Tudor rose. So let's look at some reference material. So in both these cases, the rose structure is very similar. We have the red rose and a white rose on top of it. We have green leaves coming through it, the center point. This one is a second group of green leaves behind the white rose. This one is from a stained glass window. This is a more modern design, but you can see similar qualities. Now we're gonna make this out of cardboard. So I have some cardboard here, and this is single ply cardboard. If we look at the end of the cardboard, can you see there's one layer of corrugated card. I have a, another piece of corrugated card here. Can you see this is a two ply layer. We want to make sure we're working with one ply it will be too difficult to cut through the two ply layer. Just move that out of my way. Get back in my chair. So we need some kit here to do this job. So I have a compass and a protractor. And the first thing I want to do is create a circle which will become the red rose and a smaller one that will become the white rose and one that will become the center. So I could take measurements from the actual rose or I could decide to modify the size a little bit. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to stab into the cardboard, and I'm going to draw one circle that's quite big. And I'm going to make a smaller circle for my white rose. Decided maybe about there. I'm going to come over here, make sure it'll fit. It's going to be plenty of room. And then I need one up at the centre point, so I'm going to bring it in again. And I've got three circles ready to cut out. Now, when using scissors, I'm using some big teacher scissors, you might be using smaller scissors. And this is the trickiest bit of the whole process. You cut with the heel of the scissor, I'm pointing to the heel. If you cut with the snip at the end, you haven't got as much pressure. At this point, there's much more pressure this is physics, guys. So you want to cut from there. That'll be much easier. So the first thing I'm going to do is just cut loosely into the cardboard. So I'm cutting one piece off and then I don't have too much excess on it. And I'm cutting with the heel. If I cut through the heel as well, watch what happens here. I've lined it up on the edge and I'm following the line. And I can cut to the point where it starts to feel hard because I'm getting less pressure, it becomes trickier to cut. So I'm cutting away, cut, 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 not very easy, but I'm able to do it. So once you've done the, these bits, we're on to nice, easy things. I'll be back with you in a minute when I've cut all three circles. Guys, I have now cut all three circles, but I need to measure the petals. There are five in the circle. So we've got 360 degrees, which is the full circle, and we need to just divide that by five. So 360 divided by five equals 72 degrees. Now I have to hand a protractor. So I've already got a center point, so it doesn't matter where I draw this line, this radius line, and I need to measure 72 degrees. Now miss, what if it's not really, 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 really accurate? I think you'll get away with it, guys. So I'm measuring 72 to there. Drawing that. Oops, I've gone off my line. Doesn't matter too much. So I'm going to paint these at the end. From there, I'm going to measure again. 72. And so on. And do I need to do it on all three circles? Nope. I need to do it on two circles. But I'm going to give you a top tip in a minute that's going to save you some time. So, pop that again there, I'm looking for 72. And finally, one more. Line it up again, 72. Now I could check the last one is 72 and I'm accurate, but if you look at it by eye, you'll see that they look like equal pieces of pie. Now here's the trick. I could put this on here, line it up with the center point, because it's smaller than the protractor, it will be hard to measure. So if you put it centered onto there, you can see, because you're looking for the lines around it, you could measure it that way. However, I've got an easy way of doing it. If you do this one first, 
Now you line this hole up with the one below, it's about there. I can just mark off these points and then connect, move it out of the way, just connect with a ruler. These lines. Believe me, boys, if there's a quick way to do this any job, I will find it. I want to get making, I don't want to be measuring forever. Now, it still doesn't look like petals. Let's look back to the reference material. Always looking back to the reference material. Let's look at this arc here. Is it a rounded arc like that, or is it a shallow arc? Obviously, it is a shallow arc. And this is fairly traditional on Tudor roses. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut a little bit into the line, and I'm going to cut a little bit onto the profile of this petal. There we go. Now I've got this little off cut, and I'm going to use that as almost like a little template. Now I'm using a biro, just because I've got a biro to hand, and I'm going to use it onto here, and hopefully you will see the method I am following, and I will continue to do that all the way around. I will then, using which part of the scissors, guys? The heel. I will cut into there and cut into here. So you see what's beginning to happen then? We end up with the profile of the rose. We do the same then on the white rose. I'll be back with you when I've done that. So guys, I'm back. And you can see that I've got the two roses cut out. I've got the center point and we'd stack it all together, but there's more to come. Now, one thing I always do is keep my workspace clear. I'm moving any bits that are in my way out of the way to make it nice and easy. Now, we're going to take the scissors and we're going to do a little cut. We're going to leave the centre bit intact because we don't want the individual petals to fall apart because it gives us more work to do later. And I've cut it about halfway down those lines. And then I'm going to take the cardboard and my fingers and I'm going to bend it on the edge. Now, because it's corrugated cardboard, it will bend and collapse a little bit. Do you see what's happening? Getting a little bit of shape. Now, you might think... This is a nightmare, it's really hard to do. But when you get used to it, you think, ah, it's taking a bit of shape. So we're giving it a little bit of a profile, like it's not a completely flat piece of cardboard. And those little lines in there, and those little cuts will help you do that. So it gives it a little bit of depth. So it's a bit like this as it's coming up the petal, and we will do the same on here. Might be a bit tricky when it's a bit smaller. Let's just go for it and see what happens. Quack, 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 quack down there. Cutting, cutting, cutting. And then, see how I'm pressing it down on the table? It's working reasonably well. So we now have the two roses and the center point. If you notice, the roses are not lined up in line with each other. They're offset and rotated so that this petal sits sort of staggered to the one behind it. Now, there's one thing I've completely missed out so far, and it's the leaves, because we're working systematically. Now, you could cut a full leaf shape out. I'm not going to. I found some cardboard that's much, much easier to cut. So I've cut a biggish leaf shape. You could draw it and cut it. In this case, I'm just cutting a freehand. I'm feeling a bit more confident about all this now. I've done a few bits of cutting. And then I'm using the heel of the scissors cutting shapes that are quite similar. Now I need five if I want to do one leaf, one flower, but if I want to do both of them I might need ten. So notice what I'm doing, I'm cutting them down the middle because now I've just doubled the number I have and this would in effect be stuck at the back. So you have to decide if you want them just on the outside like this one or on the outside and the inside like that one. I'm going to make both just so I've got them. So I've currently got six. I need another four. 